thank you, the world. And um, I try to be uh, short. I don't want to speak too long time, but uh, since I get involved to the marathon, the open water swimming, I have some question from the from this discipline. I heard yesterday from Mr. Marculescu uh, about uh, the, the importance of every discipline in the aquatics uh, uh, discipline from of FINA. Uh, uh, but uh, I have some question about it, and I, want, I try to involve you to answer these questions because uh, I think if we're thinking together about uh, the open water swimming, the future of the, uh, of the open water swimming, it could be better and better. And uh, I think uh, after London, uh, we could see the popularity of the open water swimming because uh, both the men and the women race was really popular. A lot of spectator was around the lake in London in the Hyde Park, uh, and I think, um, uh, my point of view, it needs some improvement if we want to make a better job, like a coach or like uh, the FINA. If, uh, uh, as we heard from Mr. Marculescu, the sport is a business and we try to make our job better and better. Uh, let me see the questions. Considering the London schedule, is it in the right place in the World Championship uh, program? This is my first question. Uh, as all of you know, uh, in the World Championships program, the first, uh, the marathon swimming, if I know well. L uh, last time it was in, in uh, that place. And uh, in London, they uh, put it after the pool swimming. Uh, between the pool swimming and the, uh, finishing the pool swimming, after that, uh, it was uh, nearly one week, less than one week, of course. <coughs> And all, uh, both races uh, was won by a pool swimmer. The men's race was won by uh, Osama Meluli, and the women's race was won by uh, Eva Ristov. And uh, this is, uh, it, it was in the, in the right place, I think. Uh, as I uh, mentioned before in my lecture uh, two days ago, uh, for us, it was a good uh, indication uh, before the marathon race, Eva uh, uh, compete in the 400 and 800 free, and uh, she, she reached relatively good result. <coughs> and after that, uh, just a few days, uh, uh, the finishing uh, her tapering, and after she could uh, win the marathon race. Uh, Osama Meluli was uh, in a better position. She earned third place in the 1500 meter, and after uh, a few days, uh, he, won, he won the marathon race. And uh, this is my first uh, question, whether this is in the right place in the World Championship or, or not. What is easier for a coach to prepare uh, his or her mar uh, marathon swimmers uh, together with the pool swimmers? But as you know it, uh, most of, of the coaches uh, doing the training in the pool and just time by time could go to open water. And uh, especially the nation who don't have uh, enough uh, possibilities to go uh, open water, like Hungary. We have a big lake, Lake Balaton, but uh, uh, we, uh, we can use it only for two or three months. All the other uh, time we have to train 
in uh, inside pool, indoor pool, and uh, that's why uh, all these competitors uh, making uh, the training together with the pool swimmers. Of course, uh, the marathon swimming, the long distance swimming, the open water swimming is uh, uh, another story like uh, Dirk uh, mentioned it uh, in his lecture two days ago. But uh, of course, for a coach, it's a big challenge to make it together. And that's why I ask uh, whether is it in the right place in the World Championship or not. If anybody wants to speaking about it, uh, let's do it. I would suggest to get all the questions at the end, if okay. you don't mind, Ferenc. Okay. okay. And it, uh, the second question is coming from the first question, uh, whether more uh, long-distance swimmer could, uh, could be involved uh, to the marathon swimming, but this, I think it's a, a bigger challenge uh, for the marathon swimmers because I am uh, a new coach in the marathon. Even we won this uh, London Olympic race, but uh, it was only my second uh, race. The first was the Olympic qualif uh, qualifier in, in Setubal, Portugal. The second was the London Olympics. Uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, it could be better if more long distance swimmer could be involved uh, to the marathon swimming. And uh, this is coming from the first question. <coughs> if we can make it together and if you can uh, make the training together, uh, first the pool swimming and after the marathon swimming, it could be better because uh, more swimmers, uh, bigger challenge uh, for the others. It's not only a small, uh, how can I say, this small family of uh, open water swimmers. Because I know it is worldwide, it's very popular, the open water swimming, especially in uh, <coughs> In uh, South America, there are a lot of uh, open water races. And uh, also a question uh, whether from the marketing side of this competition, uh, this tanky uh, takes uh, two hours. In, uh, in the World Championships, uh, are, uh, there are some other events as well, like uh, five key, 25 key. Uh, uh, could we uh, try to find another distance uh, to improve our, our open water uh, discipline uh, to, to make it much more popular? Uh, everybody could say, uh, could so in uh, London Olympics was a lot of spectators around this lake. And I think it uh, makes our uh, discipline much more popular. Uh, and the third question is, are there any difference between uh, the preparation of a pool swimmer or an open water swimmer? I know the answer, of course, uh, there are, but uh, uh, a pool uh, swimmer coach don't have time to go time by time to out of the pool and uh, make open water uh, trainings, or we have to divide it for two, and uh, uh, we have some uh, specialization for the coaches. And uh, these three questions, what I want to ask you, if you want to speaking about it, uh, please. Do it, and thank you very much for your attention.